please remember to leave a like, a comment, share the video about, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you. Well, isn't this just fantastic? Because Chantal is renowned for being remarkably fickle, on the 2nd of April she put out a community post. Alright, I know you will all laugh at me for this, but I am done. Like done done. Not just taking a break done, never coming back done. I am done with social media, period. I tried to give us another try for those who have reached out to me and love my content, but being back made me realise how badly I hate being a YouTuber anymore. It is not worth it for me anymore. My mental health is more important and I will not be on a platform that allows people to profit from bullying and hatred and to steal from creators. I will leave you all to enjoy this crap toxic community on your own, but I'm out. Emojis. I've also deleted my TikTok. I cannot be reached for the time being. I need it this way. So you deleted TikTok, but not YouTube. Hmm. Conviction. Interesting. Now while that was going on, just before, after, can't remember which, this video did its rounds. Tweeted out by Stuff K said, because during a stream, Salah said something. The word is Wasta, aka Vitamin W. It's tantamount to saying he's got that juice. He's got an in with the movers and the shakers. He's connected. And it only, you know, applies to Kuwaitis. Um, it's a scam, by the way, folks. Uh, although there was this article from 2017 talking about a Syrian expat who may have uh, committed many violations in 2016 and 2017. Some where it's like also people you know can do, like, what's that system called? What, what? If you know somebody, like, keep calm, I have, what's that thing? What, what? If you know somebody, like, keep calm, I have, what's that thing? Call where if you know somebody, like... 24 hours after the initial community post, she was back. Lamau. Salah said something to me and he is so right. Haters will always be haters and will never change or stop running their mouths about me. So I'm going to let them win and run me off? Hell no. I have three gym vlogs to post. The best thing I can do is let the Lord deal with these people and continue trying to better myself. From now on, I will not search for what people are saying online or give any of these parasites attention. Stay mad. Emoji. Since we rarely see Salah communicate as well on stream, either he has stage fright or this is BS. Four more community posts, by the way, to go through. The first, I am now just Chantel. Full stop. Her channel name had changed to accompany it. The second, a couple's vlog in, well, the gym. This one intrigued me. It intrigued me because I think we spent more time looking at food than we did the gym itself or any form workout related content. Here's a demonstration of that. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So happy to see you here. And thank you for watching us. We have decided to embark on a health journey together. We have joined gyms and we wanted to share a bit of the experience with you. So what you'll see here in this vlog is just some, here we are at a Burger King. I wanted to share this with you because, and so I'll do what I can. The next post concerns some rather interesting deflection and explanations huh? as to why her uh, video made sod all sense why she is claiming to be more healthy in the very video you saw a little clip of, whilst simultaneously making it a point to go to Burger King, but also Ramadan. The final post concerns BBJ, because she wants BBJ back, but doesn't at the same time. She is going all in on those that she feels has wronged her, deceived her, taken from her the love of her life for over 20 years, a cat that she ignored, a cat that was not treated properly, given the proper care by her. But she's in the right, as she believes, because she's an idiot. Now Chantel's hate boner for French fried person, yeah, um, bleeds a bit because while she suggested, and others did too, that FFG branch out and cover other people, to lead by example, FF somebody did. And one of those people Chantel reached out to, to tell that person all about FF person, yeah? 
using a rather unflattering image that looked like an amalgamation of Nick Diorio fucking Ethan Ralph, with FFG, I worked out the name eventually, being the child of them two smushed together. On the screen is that video. Chantelle shows DMs. She didn't get permission to show those. Bit of a dick move, not the smartest. But it further proved a point I keep making and have been making for years. While Chantelle claims to not be a slave for views, to not be uh, huh, a part of world, not only is she a part of it, but the relationship is symbiotic. I feel really bad about outing the DMs between Evie and I. So I was right beside me. I said, you know what? This person, I was really just in a like mood and I was like, you know what? I'm going to warn this poor guy. He looks very nice. He looks, you know, as a fellow Canadian, <clears throat> so many people so many people like this woman this okay let's call her i don't know what can we call her let's just call her ffg she has she has the nerve to say that it's not that serious meanwhile your whole zombie cult is attacking this guy in the in his comments really bad at this um i posted the dms that's why he's getting harassed so he's getting harassed he doesn't have a right to think that these people are creepy i'm sorry but he's allowed to an opinion without them attacking it. like no, that doesn't justify their behavior. They're responsible for their behavior and their reactions. Sorry. Because you never got consent to post the DMs, Everest had to, on his Twitter, release the full version of the DMs, which show you had cherry-picked, quote, mind the feck out of him. You'd also used him to make a larger point and failed to do so. It was disingenuous. And he also pointed out he responds to every single DM he gets. No one is special in this. Chantel also posted on a community post more because she can't use Twitter and doesn't know how to blog properly. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay, last post about poor BBJ included our images talking about bold spots and issues that BBJ had or now currently has. The problem Chantel has here is she's hyper-focusing on the collar or believes it is too tight like some do in the comments of the community post in question. I've had very fluffy cats for most of my life. In the UK, you must by law have a collar. Big fluffy cats look ridiculous with them on because it looks like their head has been separated from the rest of their body. The second post is a plan for a candid Q&A. Now Chantel did actually answer some of these questions in a video. We'll get to that in a moment. The third post I believe addressing Charlie Gold, because Charlie had accused Chantel of being racist, which Chantel says is defamation. Further explaining how the Charlie Cole comment she made that got her femme out of the heat was not intended as racist, and how calling FFG a goblin is not anti-Semitic. I will say for the sake of it, the universe is rarely so lazy to create a coincidence, but in this, Goblins are not derived from Jewish people. If you are that stupid, get help. The problem Chantel has is the universe really is not that lazy when it comes to coincidence. Now Chantal and Salah kept up the charade that they were going to the gym and putting in the sessions and getting them gains to get swole, yo. Like Papa swole, yo. Allow me to showcase some of their finest form. And by finest, I mean shittest. You don't have to be a gym rat to realize just how crap this is. Hi guys. So I was able to capture a little bit more of the gym here. It depends on which classes, on which days, how many people are in the gym. Again, I don't want to show anyone else on camera. Sometimes after the gym, we have Subway. We share a 12 inch on whole wheat. Now I have some sad news for all of you. It was during the month of April that Chantel put out a members only post. Hi Beezers, I have some sad news. I think an end of an era has come in my life and thus my channel. I have come to the hard decision to end live streaming on my channel. I will update my membership details soon. If you cancel, I completely understand as I will not be streaming, thus not offering the perk you joined for. If you want to still keep a membership, I will create some cute badges that you can use in my comments, and this way you will be recognized as a member. I will keep my comments open, and we can communicate this way. For those who pay memberships will get priority responses, but please don't feel obligated to keep your memberships. I will upload recorded content on this channel from now on. I don't do this out of anger or anything negative. I just feel like live streaming served a purpose for me at one time in my life. All of you have been there for me and many of you still are, but I feel like it's time to move on to different content. 
I may be uploading less frequently here, just temporarily. As I adjust to all of the transitions going on in my life, I want to close by saying how much I appreciate all of your support and always will. She also put out this community post, just a thing. It's a great distraction because it wasn't long after that Chantel got a little bit busted, courtesy of an ASMR channel. She really does have a finger and a few pies. And it's quite impressive when you really think about it. It's really impressive how she manages to get herself into a bit of hot bother no matter what she does. Using the Relax Area ASMR channel, Chantel would leave comments on the Salah and Chantel channel. Positive comments usually get somebody's attention and they will in turn go and look at that channel. It was while people were doing that they realized, hang on, this is Chantel's channel. Much like the gaming channel of old, which I took no real issue with, maybe she should do more of that. But in this instance, Chantel wasn't creating ASMR content as such. While falling within the rules itself of TOS, she was simply putting bits together to make content for the channel, using Creative Commons, basically. She did eventually, because of the backlash, address it, and then started to make content exclusively for that channel, where she would speak before the video began. Hi there. I bet you had a really tough day. A long day, perhaps. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video on us. Thanks for watching. Subsequent videos were uploaded to that channel, and these seem to be legitimate videos recorded by Chantel, although I could be wrong. Chantal did put out a near 30 minute video talking about how FFG and Charlie Gold are pretty much the same person. There is some merit to it oddly enough, but I'm not going to sit here and go through all of that video or make you suffer that instead of suffering something vastly more entertaining called the awful waffle skit. Chantal did a few of these. They were, well they were certainly something. Can I get you? Uh, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd like your waffle of the day, please. Sir, read the sign. We're out of waffles. The only thing I have is a box of egos. <coughs> uh, ma'am, if you don't mind, could you kindly not smoke a dart while serving me? I've got sleep apnea, all right. Interestingly, the skits she did, as cringe as they are, did reasonably well. So here's another one. <sighs> they better have Nashies or I'm gonna go home and order pot pie and Lakmas. Hi, welcome to BK, where you can have it your way. My name is Art, how can I help you today? Hi Art, can I get four Nashies please, and a Diet Coke with extra extra ice? Excuse me? What's a Nashi? Oh, <laughs> Nashville chicken sandwiches, sorry about that. Oh, we're all out of Nashville chicken sandwiches. Wait, what? But the sign is still up, it says you have some. <laughs> is it April 1st or something, or...? Via a community post, Chantal explained why she made those videos in the first place, saying, I know most are confused about my weird short videos. So back in high school, I used to draw scenario pictures in class or in the cafeteria. It made people laugh, so I enjoyed doing it. It also entertained me as well. Some were not so nice about teachers, nonetheless, and so are these. Just some nonsensical fun, the best kind. Harmless content, to be honest. So I can be certain there are a few people within the world who took great umbrage with their existence. Now it's not only the farms who keep up to date with the likes of Foodie Beauty, Reddit do as well. Somebody, an intrepid shopper, found the Beezer scent, I believe rose and vanilla, in a dollar store. A 
accompanying it with a post talking about the fact that yeah nah this um this is where the tat is sold contrary to what they claimed um okay Chantel went on to later explain with this that um, just boozing, I assume that's who she's referring to, is reducing the already low self to reading obvious childish lies from the internet about Salah's company. Because he's a man of integrity, everyone. You can all stay mad. Chantal also posted, Ha ha ha, I need Goral World to stay relevant. And what will you talk about? Then why are you all desperately reaching and making up lies to stay relevant yourselves? Please make me irrelevant. I would love it. I don't need or want your hate views. This comment in and of itself is fascinating because I will maintain they need you, you need them. It's why you had to, even though you were not involved, reference other people that other creators that normally respond to you were talking to. Injecting yourselves into their lives and whatever it is they do in their personal life, their business, who they react to that isn't connected to you because you wanted to be center of attention. Everything is about the Beza show. Everything's about big beautiful me's triumphant something. I can't think of a sentence to finish that with. You need them to be relevant. If they all moved on, your views would tank and you would then start to react to them to get them to come back. And they will because you're an easy target, Chantel. Not to make an end of year review on because so much happens, you're actually remarkably difficult to keep on top of. Which can be taken a number of ways, please don't take it the dirty way. I will never climb that mountain. Oh, and before I forget, around the middle of the month, Chantel changed her channel, again, from Foodie Beauty to Chantel, to now The Chantel Show. On the 16th of April 2023, Chantel released on the Sala and Chantel YouTube channel Love and Peace, a documentary. It is 8 minutes and 56 seconds long. It has the most cringy words, visuals. Oh dear god, there are levels of pain I'm willing to inflict upon you. This is another one of those times. You're welcome. Love is amazing. It makes us human. It softens the heart. And it makes us weak, but strong all at the same time to have someone to love you for who you are is a gift from god oh god the shivers Ugh. i want more seriously <laughs> no <laughs> so i was like seriously back on my anti-diet stuff. It's just too depressing, man. The reason I played those two clips is because, as you may have noticed, mukbangs are back. Chantel has given up on the diet for the time being. Turns out she really can't stop being herself and she's gone back to her tried and tested, truthful content format on the Chantel show of anti-diet mukbangs. Yeah, she's um, she's on it, fam. She's, she's getting them gains. Chantel and Salah have continued the charade that they're a married couple by producing more and more content. I thought I'd play a clip from another one of their videos that tickled me to no end. <laughs> Cute. Beach cats here. <laughs> wow, mashallah, so strong, baby, huh? <laughs> After a two week layoff of live streaming, Chantel made her triumphant return with the stream back to Beezing. She had 754 watching, which is quite impressive. In her chat participants, well, not that many. Um, people actively in her chat, they were very, very few in number. Here is a highlight of that triumphant return to live streaming. What's important for each of you for vacation? Like seeing old buildings, nature, beauty. I don't know, religious pilgrimage, I don't know. You really want to kind of get out of the Middle East for a bit, I think, and enjoy something else, eh? Yeah. It's like a change of atmosphere. <laughs> Stan must be Middle Eastern, huh? Actually, the mom is like the candle of the home. 
Yes, that's a good way of looking at it. Like the light. Yeah, the light. The warmth and the light. Exactly. Yeah. When you lose it, like you lost the light in the home. Yeah. Aww. That's why I felt when I was like uh, too much young. Yeah, you were around younger. eleven or twelve years old. I was. Yeah. When I lost my mom. Yeah. So, baby, how old were you about whenever um, your mother passed away? My mom died 15 years ago. Uh, I was like 15 years old. May she rest in peace, baby. I mean. Since someone else noticed that, which is a lie, um, whose grave were you visiting? Moving on from that, we're going to go to another one of Chantel's mukbangs called My New Diet Mukbang ASMR. Sorry, I'll say it properly. My New Diet Mukbang ASMR. No, that was not on the ASMR channel, and yes, she changed her channel name again, this time to Foodie Cutie. She's really on a roll this year, folks. Now, with Chantel in a part of the world that's a bit warmer than the rest of the world, one does have to wonder how she manages to adapt as well as she has. Here's a video of her adapting really well to 95 Fahrenheit. I, I don't know what that means. Okay, it's really freaking hot, apparently. All right, heat. It's getting too hot for me, honestly. So, AC break is over. You have the keys to the AC in the car, I ain't walking in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a thousand degrees out here. This is so hot, but you, it's like, you said that this is not even close to how hot it gets out here. Eh? Mm. It's soaking wet, it's so hot. Around this time, Chantel went back to Foodie Beauty, but we also found out, via a community post for members only, that she had harassed and harangued the new owner for Sam to give Sam back, with some dickhead in her comments called Tracy saying, this is the best news I've heard in a while, because he'll be so happy with his real mummy. And what will you do with Sam when you earn Salah travel? We will rethink our travel for now. Tracy, you're a dickhead. Now, Chantal being called out for a sock account she uses called Not Another Halal Doll. She and her partner <laughs> address this by saying the following. Make more and um, address Not Another Halal Doll having 704 comment posts. <laughs> okay, that's not my sock account. Um, I think I only ever had one in my like whole YouTube career, maybe one or two. Maybe one or two. And no, that wasn't one of them. So anyone who supports me, you know. They'd also addressed the situation concerning Sam. When I've been depressed and just like negligent of myself, yeah, their area could have been cleaner. I own that, you know. But they, I love Sam. There's no cat like him. He's my, he's in my heart and I cannot forget him. And it's so weird because just today I was asking my, my mom for like an update on Sam. And then she found out that like the person that we rehomed him to is like apparently like had to pass him off to like a, a, a foster, a cat foster home. And I didn't even know that. Like they didn't even tell us. So I was just like. By the way, Chantel went and asked Pete to take the cat instead. Now you may have noticed during the month of April, Chantel has barely if at all mentioned Natty Daddy about that kind of thing <laughs> honestly like being with Salah over time just made me completely forget about it completely and then the more I saw like the more disgusting things he did and said like about Gary and all that stuff like and the videos from Sam's that was really revealing that's when I found out everything so I was just like wow you know like eventually the the rose-colored glasses just they they reveal a lot Let's see if Chantal can make it. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four
two, three. Wow. The four is hard. <laughs> Take your time. Four, five, and six. Bravo. To start off the month of May, we're going to start strong. Another field trip. Mother and son, you know. Chantel and Salah? Yes, Salah. I almost said Nada, I'm really sorry. And not at the same time. They went to, you guessed it, Mankey D. Now I want you to imagine, if you will, while Chantel is doing these steps, that the music you hear because she's such a high energy, surprisingly agile individual is less dum 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 and more inspirational. As we're getting closer and closer to the summer months, one of the greatest concerns I have is for Chantelle's health. She is wearing full Muslim attire, black, in a very warm climate. This is going to become a mild irritation, I have no doubt of it, as the months wear on into the hottest months of the year. Not that it isn't already bleedingly hot over there anyway. Oh, and because I can, sly dig from Salah here. You are glowing. <laughs> In your all conditions, baby, I love you. You're always beautiful. Thank you, honey. To get a real insight into the character of Chantal, Mariam, Beza, Big Beautiful Me, Foodie Beauty, whatever the name is you want to use to describe this creature that even Papa Nurgle has blessed recently with a pestilence. <laughs> is he a Serbian hamster? He's a... <coughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. You first have to ask her simple questions, ones that when she answers, the real her will answer. When the real her answers, you realize she's guaranteed to crumble. She's going to fall because she's never learnt her lesson. Thank you. The excuses you make for bad decisions. Yeah, but good decisions all the time are boring. Now there is another arc, there are a number of arcs happening in every month. One concerns Chantal's involvement in Nada's court case, one that at this point continually got pushed back with continuances. As Chantal is a key character witness but also a known liar, many were wondering if she would be involved as a witness, character or to give factual statement. This is what Chantal said at this point in May, a very early part of May. Okay. No, I'm not testifying for anybody. I have not even been in contact. Look, I'm in another country. I'm a resident of another country. Nobody can touch me, okay? <laughs> so, um, I have not been subpoenaed. I'm not going to testify. <clears throat> if I did have to testify virtually or something like this, it would probably be um, I, I'm not really a witness because I wasn't there. Like, I was there. I, I, okay, I'm going to tell you exactly. I don't really remember all the details. While Chantal has been adamant she has made herself a new life that she does not want to leave, she has also contradicted this, which is unsurprising, it is Chantal, with community posts indicating that she'll go back to Canada. The reason she wants to go back, though, is to get Sam and, if she can, BBJ, citing a gentleman's agreement of sorts as a reason to get the cat back. My belief at this point is that FFG has the cat and lied about everything to get the cat. And in before others say, ah oh, yes, but Chantel doesn't have the cat, so it's totally okay. Don't be that person, be better than that. There is a principle here, try to stay on point. Chantel anyway has expressed interest in small claims court and such. The animal arc of this month, we shall revisit a number of times. Harry, of course, will feature at least one more time. Next though, I wanna show you a clip shared on Twitter via Shannon. Is this the one that was her friend? Yeah, thanks guys. Anyway, so um, the bottom line is that's, uh, that's not going to happen now. I'm going to be moving on here, staying with Salah. A buy a emoji arm shake arc incoming. Because Salah is honestly the best thing that's happened to me. And he's very supportive, you know, and he puts up with my impulsiveness. I don't know how. You've been through a lot. It's normal to be homesick and miss that life. I was watching some Jean Does Sharp Farts videos, and yeah, part of me 
And then I thought, I pictured myself somewhere, you know, in Canada, like, no, how can I leave my husband? Like, As we haven't given too much thought to Chantal's community posts, now we should go to one that is reasonably lengthy. Laugh out loud at the virtuous people upset about my last post about a crappy reactor who literally reads hate comments and admitted themselves it was to support their child. Those same people would then comment even worse things, infertility shaming me, even the reactor herself saying things like, you don't know what it is like to have kids and you will never know. So make it make sense. How are you gonna, how are you gonna? Condemn my post, when it is literally what the reactor does. She makes 70 videos a week about me, mostly laughing at my hate comments, collects a check and takes a kid for ice cream with it. How are you gonna say my post is rude and then infertility shame me? Your comments don't bother my by the way, which is why I keep them up. They say more about you than me, but I can assure you that if I was a mother, I wouldn't attack others for living in desperation. This person also said they could go out and get a job anytime. I had many good jobs in my day making good money. YouTube is more fun. They also said they can go outside anytime they want. Hmm, our couple's channel has hours of me walking around. And funny how when you do step outside your door, you go to a shisha cafe and imitate me. Anyways, this is the last attention you get from me. Oh, that's not true. Um, basically, I thought this was about FFG. She then followed this up with a video on Gorlolic Bread. Gorlolic Bread is a equally ethically bankrupt idiot creator who solely makes content at this point on Chantel and gets reasonable views on it, pumping out videos every single day on everything she does. After what happened in 2022, videos of which I made on Gorlolic Bread, I'm somewhat surprised at, like a good little parasite, they couldn't help but continue the grift. Chantel mocked them for it with an impression I thought was quite uncanny. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for watching it here. You chose to watch this anywhere, but you chose my channel, so I thank you for that. Now I have some self-righteous BS that I'm going to spew right about now, but uh, I thought it would be very interesting and uh, low-key passive-aggressive. But anyways, I thought I would show you a superimposition you see here, because Gorlick Bread is, uh, you know, we could superimpose an actual leprechaun on top of him, and uh, he, he resembles, it's quite shocking, really, it's quite, quite, uh, all right, so as you can see there, the side by side, it's quite striking, it's quite quite shocking. People got really offended about the Irish thing, and it's remarkable how when she is parodying some of those reacting to her, how defensive people get about those favoured creators. It's impressive to me that some of those within those areas can't handle a bit of joking about when it comes from the very person you take the piss out of on a daily basis. One rule for me, but not for the you fecking snowflakes. I trolled one of you grifters with four words on Twitter, and you whined about it on Twitter for close to an entire day. Now we're going to insert something that when I was trying to do a research stream on this month, I struggled to find the flow to insert my guitar into it. I've inserted my bass already, a herfner. But Chantelle loves her music and her creativity knows no bounds. It's just a shame that when she thinks of verses and bars, she can't quite give the song a story and just goes with things that rhyme. I'm going to play a clip of that to prove the point. The only gym I got is a slim gym. I really want a cat, but I got a rat. He's cute, I guess. I must confess. We eat cheesies. It's the best. Forget all the rest. I make sick beats. People make fun of my feet. They don't want to see me eat until I can see my feet. Get this on the charts before my diet starts. Your opinions are like farts. I highly recommend you acquire a metronome app on your phone. You will find you can then set the tempo and you can then find a way to make this make sense. Perhaps hire Rice Gum's lyricist as well. You might find some success in that department. You are, after all, known for wasting money. Now, while Chantal in that says people don't want to see her eat, she got 19,000 views for a pizza mukbang. So I'm not inclined to believe that that is the case. Guys, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to try Pizza Hut here. We have half pan, half ch uh, stuffed crust cheese, pepperoni, some green apple marinda, Ranch sauce, ketchup, and the spicy peri peri. Because real men, in my opinion, don't get involved. No, I, let me retract that. Don't have a whole channel dedicated to making fun of a, a single woman. I wonder who that was aimed at. Now, because she needs them as much as they need her, proof of that is the obsession with all their content and her obsession with them in community posts, 
Chantelle has to rage this because she also believes that French Fried has the cat and solely did it to get back at Chantelle. For example, citing French Fried admitting to not liking cats and euthanizing her own dog for separation anxiety. Whether there's any truth to that, I couldn't care less. I don't like FFG. But Chantelle needs FFG. She also needs Gorlogic bread. Hi, Anna. Whoa. Look at this pimple. Some moron on the internet's gonna go, it's a herpy. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. Lauren, I didn't see your message. Uh, I, I don't know, like, why? Are you trolling? <laughs> Stan, hi, Gemini Jen. Hey, Golden Girl. Hallway kids. Poor unfortunate souls. Can you tell she has a motherly spirit at heart? born from like the 1950s where children should be seen and not heard. I'm not saying it's backward, but it's definitely that. <laughs> <laughs> now just before we get to something quite interesting, a relocation. We need to talk about Chantelle's ambitions for her health while doing a mukbang video. Her ambitions include a mountain, a mountain to climb no less. Which I know I can do. I'd like to go down to a 3x or 2x. You have to be able to walk eight hours a day. So right now, I started going back to the gym yesterday, but still. <laughs> it's on the treadmill right now. 20 minutes on the treadmill right now. I'm gonna hold myself accountable with weigh-ins. I'd like to be able to do Everest. So Chantel and Salah moved. When I first saw this, my first thought was, the place looks bigger, that's cool, but it also looks like it could be an office building that has been repurposed as apartments. Chantelle also, within the upload, had to blur some things out because they found out where she lived within like five seconds. And I say they, I mean literally anyone on the internet because it didn't take long to work it out because she's an idiot. And what I thought I'd do is show you a few little clips of all the rooms of this wonderful new home for Chantal and Salah to live out there happily ever after. Hi, baby. Hello. Welcome to our new apartment. Yalla. Okay, baby, come on in. Wow. Beach view. Take a look, baby. Wow. Oh. Okay, so let's continue uh, to the hallway, going for our master room. Here's our master. Hi. <laughs> Ta-da! <gasps> A huge kitchen. Next on the agenda is Chantelle's claimed faith, Islam, where she feels she can now speak from an authoritative position about what is and is not Islamophobia. Also, it's like really, really disgusting that that the community thinks that it's okay to be Islamophobic, and then they're like, "We're not Islamophobic." Yeah, you are. If you make fun of an abaya, you're it's a it's a religious garment. You're Islamophobic. Saying they look like bed sheets. If you say salad, you're Islamophobic. And I'll tell you why it's not the same as Naturd versus Salah because Salah number one didn't do anything to anybody. Number two, his name is a religious name. It's an Islamic. It's a Muslim name. Nader is not a, is not a Muslim name. Okay, so you're Islamophobic and you look like a piece of crap. Apparently, words have meaning, folks. Okay. Community post time, everyone. Hi, guys. I'm excited to get to work in our kitchen, so for one day a week, I would like to do a Beezer's Choice for one of my mukbangs and cooking videos. Let me know what you want me to cook, and one day a week, I will pick your idea and shout you out. The most liked one, something healthy with a lot of vegetables, and I want to see you eat fresh fruit and have your meal with water or herbal teas. The next mukbang she posted was this one. TikTok trending cheesy spicy Samyang noodles mukbang. Which is interesting because someone underneath here wrote microwaved cheese. So I guess to an extent they weren't far off. And here is an obligatory clip of this with Chantel swallowing vast amounts of noodles with minimal chewing. I put uh, foil so it wouldn't ruin my air fryer. Cheesy bread. Oh yeah. Mmm. bite. I put, this is a potato bun. Oh my gosh, these noodles are stuck together with the cheese. <laughs> They're very um, solid. Let's just mix them up. Beauty bite. Mmm. 
Chantal, as many of you know, is prone to deleting content, whether that be community posts or videos itself, or putting videos behind a membership-only paywall. Yeah, she does that. It is quite frustrating. It means that when it comes to archiving content of hers, we here struggle. Recently, in the month of May that is anyway, there was a stream called Taking Out the Trash, Just Saying and The Girl of Zone have it. I'm going to play you some clips related to that. Yo, yo, Beezers, I miss you all. I notice the harder I ignore people, the harder they try to get my attention. I really notice that. Number one, I have the same DMs that Messy Poo has that she's flexing. But we don't do that. We're not going to... We didn't do it because it's like, there's no point. There's nothing really revealing there. And, you know, Kelly, you getting to that. Why is she saying that she, um, Salah contacted Mr. Moo? Number one, any recent... That any her claiming that there's recent DMs is BS, 100% being in bed. That's all you do. Where's your chemistry? You just lay there like lumps of crap in your bed, criticizing other people. You've become everything you criticized in those DMs. So don't make me release the DMs because you look worse than I do in those DMs. I, Charlie and I don't see eye to eye. That's obvious, whatever. But she dragged FFG so hard and so good that... I, I never knew you were like this. I didn't know you, you were this good. Now, I don't like when you drag me hard, but <laughs> when you drag her hard, I can laugh. With that short clip alone, I think we all know why it was deleted. On one hand, don't give them attention. On the other, give them every ounce of attention I can give them, knowing they're going to respond. Controversy really does breed further controversy. Missy Moo did directly respond to this later by saying, this is what happens when you go up against foodie beauty. I get it, but seriously, I'm 42 and my mother has zero to do with YouTube. Included is an alleged email sent to Missy Moo's mother. Alleged. Chantal has denied this vehemently by saying, no, I didn't email anyone's mother. Someone is probably emailing themselves for clout and attention or a troll wanting to keep drama going. But I can assure you I am not out here emailing people's families or making sock accounts or whatever. This is the last, I will say this, but if you see me anywhere other than my official channels on social media, it is a troll. I have privated a lot of drama-related content, as many have noticed because we are simply tired of it and not into feeding the negative attention-seeking clout chasers any longer. There's a little irony in there since, you know, feeding, negative attention, mukbangs. She also said in a follow-up post, and no, my husband does not leave lewd comments for a certain psychotic individual, nor has he messaged anyone. No screenshots or proof, but people believe anything and anyone just because those people are big mad that he and I are still together after seven months. Lol. Stay mad and stay sad fabricating BS. She then posted, so here are my receipts. This is from an email I sent to my YouTube manager. The email from a certain clout chasing liar has my full name in the email. And when I send emails from this account, it says Foodie Beauty, not Chantelle Seralt. Nice Photoshop work though. If only whomever did this could use the time to, you know, get a life instead of making defamatory content. Also still waiting on DMs proving we have recently been in contact, just like I'm still waiting on being outed by Sam's Bar Lounge. Accompanying that is her proof. A number of people do believe that this is in fact true and that the drama was fabricated. But that could also be a very carefully cultivated comment section underneath. Not gonna lie, that actually doesn't look too bad. So yeah, Chantel continued with the mukbangs. She didn't do as well with this one. She didn't even finish it in the video. Oh. Okay, guys. I think I'm full. <laughs> and thus a thumbnail was born from her own lies. Although I do appreciate she changed the angle of this one. The last one was a bit too high up. And for the sake of intellectual honesty, we should insert now an accusation levied at Chantal was that she started, and it's a bit sus to do this, changing the name on the email, which doesn't make her look like she's as innocent as she has been trying to tell everyone. The Missy Moo stuff continued for a little while longer. Just to be clear here, with her hearting and having people post work info of Missy Moo, and her family. The same thing that Chantal did with others. Finishing with Foodie has no friends, none. 
no personality whatsoever. Obviously a cuckold. He lets you go on stream with your big jugs out. Which I know I did in my past, but I don't, honestly, I have no idea how I ever, ever, ever did that. Really, I don't know. I, I don't know if I could ever go back to do, I could never go back to doing that, never. Even if all those things are true, how's it anyone's business? Well, that's true, yeah. She said you're paying Salah to train you to be a Muslim wife, so not to her, it will take you back. What? Oh yeah, because he's such a good Muslim, and it's a requirement for me to be Muslim to be with, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> None of it even makes sense. He's with a non-Muslim now. <laughs> she's been rejected by Beezer, so now she's just throwing out any stupid wild- She's parading every dumb thing that the reactors and haters have reached for. I can't explain it. So the food is amazing from this place, but it could have more. Like, I'm gonna still be hungry after this. Six. I have to try those. I could eat another one of these. Easily. Like Cajun sauce, <sighs> delicious. Very satisfying meal, except that it could have been doubled. Anyway. Chantal did put out an eight minute video titled The Birthday Party, which is a revisionist retelling of a part of her life. I'm not gonna make you endure all eight minutes. All you need to know is it is a load of crap and her way of trying to portray herself as the hero of the story, when in reality, she just looks like an even bigger asshole. Something I want to talk about while you see a mukbang on the screen is that many people have been questioning how she's managing to afford the mukbangs themselves. While not too familiar with the cost of living in Kuwait, the question does remain, especially as her views aren't as great as they would be if she were beezing it up and doing all the poor decisions that made her lots of money in the first place. There is no way she is making anywhere near that level and there's no way Salah's business is what's paying for anything because we rarely see him anymore. As we're only in May, the theory that he might not be a legit husband and she is literally sat in an apartment on her own all the time is given more credence. Start with this one here at the bottom, it's probably hotter. A little crunchy. Actually, I'm just gonna pull it apart. <laughs> just like, you know, American cheese slices. My favorite for this kind of um, meal. Let's try this. I haven't tried the soup yet. I'm nervous. Beauty bite. <laughs> mm. Oh, and just before we continue, while this is actually quite amusing, please don't do this. We're harming a business just to get back at Chantal. I get not liking her, but the poisonous people that do this kind of crap need to learn where the boundary is. Okay, please don't do it. Oh. <laughs> You're clumsy, baby. <laughs> I am. I never... Learn. <laughs> I never do a mukbang free of mistakes or messiness. The mustache. <laughs> <laughs> the hot sauce mustache. So some people took it upon themselves to leave reviews. These reviews were not good. Exhibit A. There's a couple living here, pretending to be married. The woman is on a visitor visa from Canada trying to evade her taxes. There's a very strong, nauseating scent of rotted fish coming from her unit. I often hear Salah whimpering like a child and Chantel moaning every five minutes, and at times commanding him to get more food. I'm concerned about what is going on in the unit. And apart from the sweaty stench of unwashed fupa balls, <laughs> the fat content and extreme gluttony inside this building are beautiful to behold, gut bucket. And yes, I'm doing more of these. Rumor has it that this place is a home of a proud bisexual woman famous for her inspiring OnlyFans career, currently producing unapologetic feeder content. I'm so excited this is now possible in the Middle East. We stand liberal Q8. I will only buy your gasoline now on. Finally, great place. There's even room for special needs families. My only complaint is that you can sometimes smell farts, but the problem can be easily fixed with some dollar store fragrance. I recommend the Teeb Aldar one. It's so cheap. As a thing, I feel this kind of behavior, while funny and obviously I laughed at it, can be quite dangerous for Chantel. I get wanting to troll and take something to an extreme, but in this context, please don't. So Chantel's made a claim that she's lost two kilograms doing mukbangs. I doubt it's true, but let's entertain this novel idea for a moment.
community post. Ugh, I am so overwhelmed. Can anyone recommend some products for me, please? I'm trying to shop for the following products and there are too many to choose from. Sorry, chose from, lol. I'm in Q8 and we do have a Sephora. Reply, you're probably better off asking someone from Sephora and not binge eating and mukbanging fast foods can do wonders for skin. I hear vitamin D is quite handy as well. D Angry Scott on Twitter tweeted, I find the psychology behind this moment effing weird. Foodie Beauty, the woman who waded through one plus year of endless nada humiliation, ate peeps in a bath for OnlyFans, defends not washing her hands after using the toilet, has changed her ketchup use because a TT made her self-conscious. Now, <laughs> funny story about the ketchup placement on my plate. I was browsing TikTok and I saw like normal people. And the guy like put ketchup like this here on the side of the fries. And then he's like psychopaths. <laughs> and he drizzled the um, ketchup on top of the fries. And that's how I normally eat fries. I'm not going to lie. But that... TikTok? Maybe a bit self-conscious. <laughs> As we cross the line to two-thirds of the month completed, Chantal went through another scorched earth phase. This time though deleting so many live streams, somebody had screen recorded what you see on the screen now, reducing her content from I think over a thousand down to 360 odd, truly believing that by erasing the past it's totally gone. That's um, that's a boomer mentality and Chantal certainly qualifies. To continue on, we have uh, another mukbang. She really is committing to these, by the way. And she's not doing that bad on them as a standalone video, averaging over 10,000 views per mukbang. But based on the cost, it's still not quite as profitable. So one does wonder where the money's coming from. I wonder if that disinfectant bottle perfume is doing well in sales. <laughs> Hello guys. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you what we got at this cafe here. Okay, so here's the treats. Whoa. Shenanigans tweeted out Chantel's DMs leaked with Amy Flowers as a thread. It is quite extensive and virtually every message they exchange is within it. And no, this segment's nearly 30 minutes long already. I am not going through all of that. Needless to say, Chantel's an idiot. For two separate reasons. Engaging in this conversation, the second, I believe there's a phone number there that really shouldn't be there. Chantel has never been one for subtlety, and these messages are vital to understanding what has gone on that got BBJ into a new home. That conversation, by the way, is going to bleed into June, and it's going to be a pain in the ass to understand. The story concerning BBJ has continued. Chantel put out a video titled Closure and Truth, i.e. Cat Allegations, on the 27th of May 2023, but the comments turned off. It's a 40 minute video where she discusses the whole situation and what she wants to happen. I'm going to play a short clip of that now because I cannot be asked to go through 40 minutes. Honestly, even in this setting, it's not worth it. And he's going to be sedated. Um, anyway, it's for me to worry about you know, and it's going to happen. People bring their pets all the time. So yeah, um, he's being well taken care of right now. So that's, you know, whatever. Basically, I moved to Kuwait um, to marry the love of my life. Someone who's very, very good for me after having been in an extremely abusive, toxic relationship for almost two years. Um, so this person is really good for me. I love him. So I had to make a tough decision. I wasn't sure at the time, do I want to travel with the cats? Maybe it would be better to leave them behind. I had to make a fast decision because I was moving fast. I had one month back in Canada. I came to Kuwait, got married, came back home and had about a month to pack up my entire life and leave everything behind in Canada to come here in hopes of having a better life with my husband. I don't know why I'm villainized for that, just because we didn't know each other for a very long time. Love doesn't really have a time. I mean, it's it's different for everybody, right? But this is a serious accusation. And like I said, there's different groups of people when it comes to the abuse allegations. There's my abusers who 100% believe everything. They've seen my relationship with the cats. They know I would not abuse my cats. Um, so I'm just addressing these defamatory accusations. Which is why Chantal and Foodie Beauty Animal Abuser have been trending on multiple occasions throughout the year of 2023. Chantal followed this up by engaging with the haters, even though she knows better than to do so, because she had to say, yes, my Hep B antibody test was positive, get it right. Shenanigans left a comment underneath, expecting to be blocked, saying Chantal herself 
I said she has hep B while she was reading out the laundry list of STD she contracted. This doesn't come out of nowhere. Foodie Beauty later on put out a community post saying, Can you people please get a life? Now people are accusing me of having hep B when I was vaccinated in school for this. I do not have any hepatitis diseases. I know you were bored and have no life, but please get one fast and stop making stuff up about mine. Ridiculous people, I swear. Well, I think we should go find the clip from the video, shouldn't we? See whether or not there's any truth to it. By the way, I'm choosing to make a video because I realized that, I'm just cluing in, that every time I make a community post, I give these leeches free content. So I'm going to make my own content on my own situation. So here we have the first screenshot is the hepatitis B results from the one test I had. Now, when I was in elementary school, I was vaccinated against hepatitis A and B. So if you read correctly, which I'm sure some of you are not capable of doing, I'm sorry to sound bitchy, but I don't know how else to say this. Hepatitis B virus surface antibody. The key word here is antibody. Gonorrhea, that was 15th of February. Negative. D-dimer, negative. Wow, you wanted to know about my thing. I'm just checking. I just want to check. Hepatitis C antibody negative. Hepatitis B immunity panel. I do have hepatitis B. Oh, and I'm going to apologize one last time because I have to show you another song from Chantel before we get to the final day of the month. Yes, we're almost there, folks. Halla fecking Luya. This song, though, is about her handsome, handsome man. Handsomest man, handsomest man. Oh my gosh, he's the handsomest man. I said no one can love me quite like you can. That's because you're the loveliest man. I'm so happy thanks to you. Existence is pain, and we will do anything to alleviate that pain. Chantal finishes the month with one of her favorite meals as a mukbang where she discusses the following. When I think about it though, people use antidepressants um, as prescribed as an alternative for sleep aids because um, I remember being prescribed trazodone. I start my meds and when I first initially started taking them, I became so sleepy when they kicked in. Like, I couldn't even keep my eyes open. <laughs> and now, too, like, I get to that level of sleepiness where when I get like that, I need to rest. And afterwards, then put on a post saying, this person comments on what I eat. This. Lolololol. I don't know if my eyes deceive me, but it doesn't look like you eat too many leafy greens yourself, Hanzira. If I looked like you, I would probably hate myself too. At some point, FFG and FB need to just get a ring together and box. Or, and to give you a disturbing nightmare fuel image, just fuck, because this is getting silly now, isn't it? Chantelle is going to do exactly what she does every month. Claim she doesn't want anything to do with the hairs girl world and the rogue French fried I just call her Wobbly. By first of all talking about Wobbly in a manner that is typical of Chantelle because really she wants to have sex with Wobbly. She did edit the post so the top part is the giveaway. No one cares Ugo, your old tea and hate grifting will only go so far. No one cares about you as a person to watch anything other than hate towards me. Which is true. People hate me more than they like you, lol. The only legacy you have on YouTube is a ploy to steal a cat and believe you will get karma for everything. At the end of the day, you are still a frumpy, stinky, miserable ashtray trash bag with the most hideous face on YouTube. Literally show me one person uglier than this B. I assume, Bish. Living alone in a rather bad motel, obsessing about me. Love that for you. I wouldn't want your face even if someone offered me one billion dollars. Lol. Ew. Anyway, I will go back to ignoring this chinny beast because in the end, I am the one who travelled and got married to a handsome man and has a lot of future plans which we will vlog and which people will watch because my beezers watch anything I do. Your chinians only watch your vapid content when you talk about me. So I love living rent free in your empty skull. Also, looks like my beezers don't give a poop that you keep milking the health problems of a nearly deceased cat because you have nothing else for content and try so hard to ruin my reputation as an animal abuser. And besides, a few rejects, no one believes it or cares. My channel will eventually get to 100k, and yours will always be dependent on how much poop you talk about me, which will only last so long because I report every stream and am awaiting news from a YouTube manager. You are on borrowed time, bish. 
Love that for you. The edit at the top. I know these replies make me look like an ugly person. Maybe someday I will, I will care. But right now it's hard to when this person has done the most vile and continues to do the most vile things to me. It's hard to have any care for someone so hateful and disgusting. I know it is desperate for my attention so I will starve it from now on. Or try my hardest and believe me it is hard to do sometimes. Included is a picture. The thing with this is... Chantel will, over the course of the month, continue to talk about FFG, not talk about FFG, and then talk about FFG some more. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to play a video of Chantel doing what I believe to be as close to an impersonation that is actually quite accurate as you can do of French fried grifting fraud, aka Wobbles. Crackhead, cokehead, crackhead, cokehead, crackhead, cokehead, crackhead, cokehead. All right, three days I have not reviewed this Bitch. Hmm. This dumb bitch got a cat. Hmm. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm, um, mm, I just won't do it. She got married to provoke us. And she moved to Kuwait to provoke us. And now the bitch got a cat to provoke us. Hmm. Well, wasn't that just fantastic? You're all welcome. Now, within that video, you may have heard, which, by the way, I think for her is quite creative, a mention of a cat. Because, yes... After unsuccessfully getting BBJ and Sam to Kuwait, Chantal and Salah, her pay-per-view husband, ha, huh, got a cat. Here is the cat and the introduction to the cat. Oh, oh she's so loving. She's purring. Hi. She's very playful, though. Oh. Say hi, say hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Um, she's she was so purring. Yeah. So she's, yeah, Shirazi. Mm. I guess they call them Shirazi here, but it's like a Persian. Um, I don't know if she's like purebred, but thank you guys, Andre. This in turn led to Chantel trending on Twitter and many people starting a blackout of foodie beauty. Wanting to no longer enable her so ceasing from viewing her stellar content. And just to go back to the community post where she says she'll get to 100k, Chantal's been floating around 93, 94,000 for years. Doesn't help, she deletes millions of views. She'll claim at the behest of her husband to protect the integrity of her channel, but she also loses subs because she impulsively gets things that might not be what she claims they are. For example, she thought her cat was originally Persian. Because... I didn't realize this, but Persian cats, I'm like the most allergic to, <laughs> so, well, that's not true, but apparently I'm allergic, I mean, I am allergic to some short hair breeds too, like Timbit, I was so allergic to. Okay, so I have Burger King, let me dig in, I'm so hungry, I have some jalapeno I should have crisped these up in the air fryer. And some beautiful pedigree cat, I can't be the only person that thought the cat looked like a stray. But the cat is beautiful. Seriously, the derp face is quite adorable. Not a fan of Chantel though, but that's because cats don't like anyone really. And Chantel does not know how to hold a cat properly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. Oh my gosh. If Chantel really wants 100,000 to get herself a silver play button, her best hope is that that cat keeps on interrupting her mukbangs. Because she's still doing them, folks. And none of them are healthy. I always wanted to try it. Mm. Sorry. We just got home. Now there are two things here that I have to point out. First, that look compared to the Burger King and the KFC one she does healthy. Portion size, not so much. The second is the henna 
Now, henna is rather fancy, beautiful, very artistic. I myself had a sleeve put on my arm when I was in secondary school by a classmate. It's very cool. It looks very strange on Chantelle because she has it done in spots all over her arm and wrist, as opposed to what I had, which was a sleeve, which is where, along with her having sausage fingers, it looks a bit out of place. But again, I actually don't think the henna itself looks bad on her. It's just she doesn't have the form, the uh, shape, yeah, to make it look as good as it can be. Let's call it unrealized potential, right? Maybe a change in health will benefit her in the future if she chooses to get further henna added to her body. Because Chantal obsesses over literally anything her on any forum, anywhere, at any place, any time. Haters, black pill boomers, forums, which could be all of the above. So I happened to check out my spam folder where all my junk goes. All the junk, sorry. And someone took the time to notify me that our car, so they think, has been doxxed. What exactly are you making fun of here? The 7100 Kuwaiti dinar price? You do know that equals 30k Canadian, right? So what are you making fun of us having an expensive car? Do people really spend their time and energy trying to dox people's cars? Or cars people buy? I'm sorry, but are these people driving Lambos or something? Oh no. You noticed we have a Santa Fe. Big bad power you have. Ha ha. Anyway, stay mad and miserable. Included is a image from the farms. Get on down to Yala Motors and get yours today. Starting at 7100 Kuwaiti Dinar. The new Gunt Mobile. Okay, okay. That's pretty good actually, the Gunt Mobile. It sounds like a uh, swole Batmobile. When I keep telling Chantel she really shouldn't engage with those that dislike her, this should extend all the way to any forum, subreddit, because if she engages with it or shows that she's engaging with it, it will invariably lead to more traffic there to get more attention on her in the negative. But apparently, after all these years on social media, she still doesn't quite get this. And just focus more on um, getting back to the gym and having a, a type of health journey and uh, also a kind of support system for other people who want to get healthy and, and do it seriously this time. So yes, Chantel wants to do better by herself and her health. To do this, she catalogued what she ate in a day and made it seem healthier. You don't need to see that. I said made. Promise you, nothing really that healthy about it. Also, it's all recorded. So what she really ate, she didn't record. But this itself wasn't long before she did a separate mukbang, KFC Twister and Jalapeno Cheese Fries. Which, on the face of it, is a very strange thing to mukbang about when you're trying to say you're trying to be healthier. Let's just leave it at this. <laughs> If you see me, you know, eating something that I said I wouldn't eat, just know that I've probably, you know, obviously just caved. Because we just live a very average day-to-day -day life, you know. Considering how much you put into your mouth, I'm somewhat impressed you only chew about six times at most. Sometimes it was less than that and you have more in your mouth. Would it not be easier and a little less dangerous to eat, I don't know, barbed wire or soup? One of those is serrated, but I don't think you'd ever notice. Now we need to introduce the weight loss story arc for the month of June 2023. Chantel started making content to chronicle her weight loss journey with day one weighing herself and going to the gym. Now I have many critiques, many complaints, many queries. Some are picky, some are not. I'm going to go with the not because the picky ones would make me sound like wobbles and I don't want to sound anywhere near as useless, feckless, dumb as wobbles. Sorry I'm kind of out of breath. I've been running around in the kitchen and organizing all this food health food shopping and a weigh in. I've been on this journey type of thing many, many times. Based on a simple conversion of kilos to pounds, 4.5 kilos for every 10 pounds, this would make her 367.3 pounds according to those scales. I'm sure many people are looking at that and going, where's the other 100 pounds? 
Let's get to the workout part. Go into the gym. All right, so here I am at the gym in the change room. I'm feeling tired, not up to working out, but I push myself to at least do a good 45 minutes. I start with the arm exercise machines. Those ones are usually pretty empty, so I start doing that. Just some pull downs and some uh, bicep curls here. Uh, walking on the treadmill, I do about 15 minutes of interval speeds. Not too high yet. But I start, uh, you know, I do 2.4 and I alternate. I take no issue with someone doing cardio and building up their tolerance, but her max is 2.4 for a couple minutes and then going back down to what treadmills typically start at 1.6. Which is so slow, I, I just don't see the point. They also, within this vlog, this health vlog, did some food shopping, and I found this quite interesting for a number of reasons. One, because it was a gigantic warehouse. The second, because they had to go when it was near closing time because there were less people there. And the third, because the food looked yummy. Yeah, I'm not always going to take a crap on Chantel, okay? I'm not that person. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's basically like a wholesale fruits and vegetables place. But I wanted to check it out because we needed some produce and it's a lot of things. <laughs> we are getting some herbs. This is what I've been craving, watermelon. Oh my gosh. It's a fresh produce market, very huge, with individual vendors uh, all there to sell their individual things. Now we came very late, uh, pretty much close to closing, so every a lot of vendors were closed, as you can see here. Usually this would be open and people, uh, the sheets wouldn't be on them and uh, people would be selling their things here. Uh, so yeah, um, instead of carts, you have these individual people um, coming with like a, a trolley and they follow you around and put your things on the trolley for you and um, follow you around the store, put the things on, and then at the end you um, give them a nice tip. Shortly before the release of day two of this uh, weight loss journey, Chantal put out a community post. Hi, I'm going to do part two of Le Miserable World imitations soon. I will do a compilation this time to make it a longer video. I'm not even sure of all the people in World now. So who do you want me to imitate in the next video? Reply, this entire thing is getting more and more tragic. I think it's funny because if they're allowed to shit on her and lower that bar, she should be allowed to as well. She is not being held or shouldn't be held to a higher standard or should be above it while she is bullied. And by the way, I'm well aware there is criticism aimed at her on a daily. There is also bullying. And there is a line between the two. Some people know where that line is and decide, I'm just going to go past it because I've got some money I need to make. Now on to day two of this weight loss journey, where Chantel was mean to high heaven because she contradicted herself with her past content being used as ammunition against her. And um, also because I'm not very hungry in the morning. I don't know how people wake up and eat a huge meal because I would be sluggish all day. Like, I don't know. I would need a hey break. Guys. Hello. Welcome back to another video. So... It's, this is a 6 a.m. spaghetti. How are you? How are you? Um, I have some So, I have McDonald's here. I have a lot of McDonald's food for breakfast. And my appetite's not affected. Hey guys, we're here at the biggest McDonald's in the Middle East in Kuwait City, right next to the Kuwait Tower. So, we're gonna try the breakfast today. I haven't tried the breakfast here at McDonald's in the Middle East yet. I'm having lunch and breakfast before I go have supper. Hi, we're like, Pastrami eggs. So this is um, eggs scrambled in with some peppers. Now, of course, when it comes to Chantel, much like Amber Lynn, after one, maybe two at most days of doing something that could well lead you onto a path of benefiting health-wise, something terrible, tragic happens that puts a big fat break on the whole situation. In this case, Chantel caused herself an injury, which means she is no longer mobile. She is floor bound, mukbang bound. She is at the mercy of gravity and her bulging muscles that have failed her so. Why is your tongue out? All right, so this is day two of going to the gym. I really don't feel like it. You can't see me. So today's workout was extremely hard for some reason. I had a dream a long time ago that I had a six pack and Ever since then, I've kind of wanted that low-key, so... Interesting. Um, 
So, I had a mishap. I hurt my back at the gym. I felt a pop when I was on the treadmill. The lower back pain was starting. So, then I did the weight machines on my arms. Um, and then I got in the car and I was like having trouble getting in the car. Just since then, I've just been so sleepy. Can we all take a moment, please, to pay respects to poor Chantelle's back that she put out on the treadmill with the setting she has it on even at her size i'm rolling my eyes here allow me to be mad educational and tell you how you can improve your chances in the gym the three p's prepare practice perform you prepare by stretching warming up limbering up very simple thing to do you practice by doing a let's call it a dry run you do everything lightly without weights the motions the movements then you perform with the weights you practice, you prepare, and then you perform. And then afterwards, you do a cool down. This has been my TED talk. You're all welcome. But it's okay, everyone. Chantal isn't giving up on her weight loss journey, everyone. She, she's, she's going to use services to provide her with meals. With her lack of mobility, this will totally yield a positive outcome for her. So take, for example, the following mukbang. Diet service. Um, they portion out the meals and everything is the macros are there the calories so i am actually excited to try it but um so yeah let's get into it anyways <laughs> so this is definitely portioned out lemon chicken piccata with um creamed brussels sprouts and i think it has beef bacon this whole meal is 400 400 calories i'm not that hungry when i wake up you know. And then we'll have some like nuts or something. This main meal. And then at night is when I get more hungry. So maybe like a, a potato helps me keep satiated. Beans, a uh, boiled egg. Um, was 402. The highest weight I've ever been. I could have sworn in video form if only I could find it, she at least had 422 as one of her highest on record, that is, in video form. But I don't believe many people, even though she is incredibly short, believe she's any less than around 450. So when you see her come in at 166 kilos, many do call into question the veracity of those scales. Now because Chantelle's all about that abiding her new weight loss journey, naturally she has to do another mukbang. Yes. The arc is already over. With a beef lasagna and a strawberry cheesecake, cameo by Julia the cat, who is arguably the most important part of this, because Julia doesn't have to be paid to feature in videos, unlike Salah, her <coughs> husband. Hey guys, welcome back to another mukbang, uh, eating video, whatever you want to call it, because today we are going to be trying another um, diet meal service, um, dinner, beef lasagna. And we have a strawberry cheesecake, which is 282 calories, suitable for diabetic. So yeah. Now with many people poking at the fact that that mukbang was a load of crap, she clearly didn't enjoy it yet continued to shovel it down her face. While claiming it's real food, many call into question the veracity of that. Chantelle has decided she's really going to try because she's got the backing of Salah. And he's a really good supportive person, you know, just because he's not like depriving me of things like he, he, he does. Trust me, he does support me and he does say, you know, um, well, let's get something healthy, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I don't want to hear it. Sometimes I'm the one who says, you know what? Like, give me junk food or I'm going to kill you. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but also, she's going to do a water fast. I can see this ending well. Odds on the number of days it takes for Chantel to quit anyone. I'm in my prayer gown. I'm going to be doing a water fast. And I'm not really enthusiastic about talking, you know, what I'm, I'm coming to with this idea because I have done it before. Now, I have successfully completed five days. I can't wait to see how far you go this time, Chantel. Something though interesting in that video that was shared to Twitter, we learnt about your abayas. 
because many did query about her dress sense, why she always wears the full garb, even though she doesn't have to. I'm all size clothes. I don't have to worry about going to special Abaya shops or getting custom made Abayas, which is at, was at the point I'm at right now. You know, so I, I want, that's one of the major things I keep in the back of my mind. I want to buy normal size clothes. Like, I really, really want to. I want to like just wear normal clothes like I want to be able to wear you know pants and a shirt like I don't have to wear a bias but I do because of my weight you know I have to cover my body and the bias the biggest thing less than 24 hours later Chantel was back doing another healthy mukbang after that I sort of felt like a pain in my chest and I started getting my my heart I felt my heart racing and that weird feeling of like dissociation came back and I had white dots in front of my eyes this time. That's where I thought I was gonna die. I'm like, am I having a heart attack? Did I put my body through shock? Like what? Now this is where things start to get interesting. It starts to get interesting because Chantel put out a video accusing FF of fabricating Amy flowers to get BBJ from her so she could have Foodie Beauty's cat. This cat is quite old at this point, in the early 20s. By any standards of any cat, that is old. The cat deserved golden years, happy, peaceful, content. Chantel wanted to have the cat put to sleep because she neglected the cat. The person who is alleged to have received the cat, at this point of the year, it was believed is a fabrication. Somebody living in California that is nowhere near where Chantel is. It gets quite murky, so I'm going to insert a disclaimer now because I think there's a point here that needs to be made. Chantel is a terrible person, truly. Never deserved BBJ or Sam. In fact, she only deserves misery because of what she has done in her life. She can only have happiness when she earns happiness, but she doesn't know what happiness is. If you used a deceptive tactic to get the cat from her, there is both good and bad in it. It is good because the cat is not with Chantel, of course. It is bad because a lie had to be used to do it. Hi, future Meg here. I'm having to re-upload the video on the 3rd of December to insert this. Chantel was offered money. From FFG, Chantel was offered every opportunity to give the cat to somebody else. She did not accept it. Out of pride, I would assume. Arrogance. She would rather cause a life to go than simply do the right thing, which speaks volumes about her character. And the fact that deception had to be used in the first place is shocking. It's additionally shocking when you have all the DMs between Chantel and Amy Flowers that Chantel is that gullible. The cost of that life is more important than that of the lie itself, of course. Proof of that came from people like Charlie Gold, proof that comes from Chantel in video form with meowing in the background, and I know people like to weigh up the two and say, ah yes, but Chantel's worse. All right, so I'm going to react to this stupid video um, that French Fried Goblin put out um, accusing me of being an animal abuser. Okay. So, what is this? This report that you didn't show the whole thing of? This means um, previous medical condition, um, previous medical issues. So, this is what the circle in red says. Um, it says that... Um, the cat was saved, sauvé d'une situation de négligence, one to two weeks. So she's, she, they're saying that the cat was saved from a negligent situation, which could have been FFG telling that, that to me sounds like FFG telling the vet that. That doesn't sound like the vet coming up with that conclusion themselves. As the water fast appears to have gone nowhere, Chantal's decided to, uh, well, eat junk food and talk crap because that's, that's her preset. But before we get to it, she has been putting out more community posts, calling out Shannon. She's done more, saying she's gonna report people. And she also said, I love how when I make one video to point out someone's lies, I have no life, need a hobby or attention. Okay, so by that failed logic, what do you call people who make 10,000 plus pages about one person on a forum or Twitter, Lamau? False equivalence, but there's a valid point here. Chantel should be allowed to defend herself and fire back against anyone. She's fired back at me before, not much, because I am not obsessed with her. Are going to do something with that information? Why post it then? Just to be curious? Like seriously, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. You have to be an idiot to even say that. 
You think that, like, I guess that gets rid of the liability on their part? I don't know. Now, FFG has of late been getting a lot of criticism from many within Goral World because she thinks she's above it. And they're looking at her going, no, you're a line grifting hack. You're getting a pasting. Chantel is seeing this and posting it to a community tab. Goral Universe made a number of videos at this point calling out FFG's lies with Chantel sharing them. She also put out a community post addressing the claim she might have to go back to Canada to renew her visa by saying, I am not. If that was the case, I would wait until it is due to expire. The tourist visa people think I am still on expires every three months. So the first time it was set to expire was end of May and I didn't travel then. Next three months will bring it to the end of August. But I will be traveling at a different time than that, so... Then soon after, we will go on our planned trip. If I don't lose the weight I want to by then, then we just won't do certain activities, but no matter what we are doing. I also don't understand the obsession with my status as if I owe strangers any of this information. It's so bizarre. People are insanely obsessed with every minute and trivial detail of my life. I stammered on that, didn't I? It screams boredom and unfulfilled life. I mean, some of them have four channels and a Twitch channel dedicated to you. You tell me. Actually, we recently attended a beautiful traditional wedding. There was so much food and dancing and friends and family. You can use commas, you know. Just because we don't film our private lives anymore doesn't mean we fill in the blanks. Heck, some of you take the word of some creator without showing them any of their lives, lol. It's incredibly bizarre, but it doesn't affect my life, so whatever. Fat gives you a lot more fuel for your body. If it weren't for the fact that you are so sedentary, I would agree with you. There are some good fats, and there are many bad ones. You are known for having a proclivity towards the negatives, because they taste so damn beezing good. Now, because Chantal can't afford to have Salah drive her around all the time because pay-per-view taxi drivers are a bit much, no doubt he has many Ubers to fulfill, to go play with his friends and family. Maybe even his second wife will get to that in July. Chantel has put out a video towards the end of the month talking about driving in a foreign country for the first time. How exciting! Wow! Mint bees. It's called breeze, but bees, because we're beezers. You hit me right now. Yes. And a tall iced Spanish latte. And the service was amazing here, I just want to say. I'm loving the sound in the background, the ambience of the air conditioning working overtime. Because the timeline often gets quite murky with Chantel and it happens in sporadic bursts, she does spend some time when not doing her Sims crap. Yes, she does that. Here it is. Yes, it's quite something. To also talk about lying by deception and how that's a misdemeanor and using evidence with text messages between her and, we'll air quote the word, Pete's. But since he was complicit in much of the negative, um, I'm not entirely convinced this is in fact Pete's. Yeah? She did make a rather lengthy video going through the <clears throat> receipts. No, I'm not playing that. It's quite long and it's far too much effort. We'll instead go to a community post, which included the theft by deception, right? Where she said, how is the BBJ situation not theft by deception? What that vile creature did in order to get BBJ away from me is exactly the definition of theft by deception. Quote, taking something that belongs to someone else by intentionally deceiving them. End quotes. She literally made up the Amy Flowers story because she knew I said no to giving her the cat and then came to my home and had a brother literally enter my house. All of these lies can easily be proven and already were. I don't need the zombies to believe it, only the law. I know people are sick of hearing about this, but imagine how you would feel if you had a pet you loved and cared for since 2004 to learn that your stalker and enemy had her or that whom you thought you were rehoming her to was all a scam and a lie or that you have no idea where she is or what situation she's in, this has to be illegal and I will not give up. I understand I rehomed her, but I was deceived into letting that psycho take her. If all else fails, at least a wellness check could be done. I'm asking for the help of my viewers. If you have any care for BBJ and can help in any way, please let me know. If any of you care for BBJ, demand to see her. Put your hate for me aside and think of the well-being of BBJ. Just because I had to rehome her doesn't mean I didn't love or care for her for all those years. If I didn't, I would have gotten rid of her long ago. I know you are all sick of hearing this, but I am sick and worried about her. If you are tired of me talking about something, just unsubscribe. No one should get to tell me how and when to deal with this issue. I am saying this publicly because maybe someone knows something. Also, if I was guilty of animal abuse or neglect, animal welfare would have removed them, period. I hope the cops do something about this, and then I sincerely hope you burn in hell. She's so articulate when she's mad. Just the thing. 
The neglect is well documented over the years from your beezing streams that you've tried to delete from the internet, forgetting here that the internet is forever, right? Neglect is an abuse. I had lunch, and then with that lunch I had my supper in the same time. So all of the food from the diet box, it's gone. <laughs> Except one salad. <laughs> I probably won't be healthy enough in a couple months to travel around and go hiking and do all these things um, in different countries that I want to do and I can't rush this you know I was trying to rush it and there's that's just not gonna work and I have to come to that realization but I realize I'm sick and I need to take responsibility for my health to get better and I can't rush it um, I need support so that's what I'm going to be seeking. You could see I started out very optimistic about, I'm sorry, I didn't think I was going to like get emotional like that, but just thinking about like when I woke up and I had the diet food ready to go and... There is a bar of expectations when it comes to Chantal, where we think she will usually sit because most of us do not believe she has the conviction or the fortitude to see something through, unless it is inherently bad for her. Impulsive, reckless, damaging, harmful, right? To her. So this is hardly a shocker now, is it? Can you believe we're two parts in now, folks? Part three is gonna be something. I feel like we're suffering a bit too much. I feel like a me-seeks.